Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about the one type of laser that is excimer laser. There are different types of laser exist as on date. One is a solid state laser, gas laser. The gas laser, there are two types. There is atomic gas laser, that is helium ion laser. Then molecular gas laser. Example is carbon dioxide laser, dye laser. We have seen that is one type of liquid laser. And this one is a excimer laser. You know what laser? Laser means light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Excimer means there are some of the molecules that is we can call noble gases. Noble gases means all non krypton, xenon, etc. These are the gases which are unstable in their ground state. What is unstable? Here, the potential energy curve, you will see that the ground state which does not have minimum, but in their excited state which will have their minimum. It means that the ground state which are, does not have minimum means that is called they can call those are monomers. The excited state which are having minimum means that we can call which is di, dimers. Simply we can call what is excimer means which is nothing but which are excited dimers. That is excited. Dimers, we can call excimers. Example is that is one type of noble gas plus halogens. Halogens, the sense that is chlorine, chlorine, or iodine, or bromine. So it is a combination of noble gas plus halogens or simply we can call mixture of gases. So, in any type of laser, we should have three major components. What is called active medium. Here, active medium is the mixture of gases or dimers. Dimers means organ 2, etc. Krypton 2, etc. Zanon exhaust or organ chloride, krypton fluoride, zanon chloride, or krypton iodide, like that, which are called excimers. Activity we know that. Next one is the pumping source or pumping mechanism. Here, pumping source is the say electrical discharge pumping. Electrical discharge pumping and then the resonators. Here, no need of resonators. In this case, there is no need of any mirrors or something. Without this one, also we can get laser action. Now we will see that the function of this excimer laser. collision with the noble gas A then the noble gas will go to the excited state this 
exchange of noble gas in collation with the halogen that it will produce a B star. That is a mixture of gases which are in the excited state that will become A B plus HEO, which will yield immediately A plus B plus Ota. This is the way it can emit photons. Here the photon, what we are getting is the laser. And you can see that this is a working mechanism of the excimer laser. Here we need electrical discharge. There is a pumping mechanism plus A and B. Those are called mixture of gases. One is a noble gas, another one is a halogen. To become a mixture state of mixture of gases, then it will be ground state of a noble gas by emitting photons. Immediately will make A plus B. You can see the available diagram. How would you do this? Like this. The x axis is that interatomic distance or intermolecular distance. And the y axis is the energy in terms of electron volts. You can see that the ground state. And the external state is a minus. Here we have star, which releases the photons, the photon energy, which is the ultraviolet region. That is. 172, 310 nanometer range. This way. Then you come to AB. Once again, it will become A plus B. Here we are getting the outputs which are Hachino, which is nothing but Ota. Which are in the range 170 to 300 nanometer. This is the energy level diagram for, for any excimer laser. Presently, we can call this one is a potential energy curve for an excimer laser. Potential energy curve means this is a ground state and this one is an excited state. Excited state, we, are, we will get a minimum. That is, dimers will get a minimum and monomers will not get minimum. This is the principle of this excimer laser. What are the applications of excimer laser means? The first application is to drill the nozzles in the inject cartridge for printing. There are two types of printers available in the market. One is the inject printers, another one is a laser printer. The inject printers, we are having the cartridge. To drill the cartridge from that ink will come. That is drilling the inject cartridges. The second one is the for pumping mechanism in any laser. The excimer laser is act like a pumping source in the dye laser. Pumping source in the dye laser. Third one is that for eye surgery. We can use the excimer laser as on that we can that is eye laser means organ fluoride. This one we can use as a eye laser. And the fourth one is that we can call optical lithography. This is one kind of nano technology to transfer of Images we can call optical lithography. So, if you want to refer this kind of laser, better we can go for this kind of books. One we can call Laser and Nonlinear Optics by B.B. Lord. This is the book. The publishers is the 
New Age International Publication. This is a very good book. Another book is the this will come. Laser Theory and Applications by Kyogarajan and Katak. This are, these are the very good books for this excimer laser or any type of laser. Thank you very much.